dear neighbor in 3A. Enclosed are your keys. You dropped them in the lobby today. I only have them because I too was in the lobby earlier today, headed out. Normally I would have said something. I would have said, hey, your keys. But when you dropped them, they were so noisy that I figured you'd heard them drop. But I guess you didn't. And so I picked them up. I am surprised you didn't come back for them. Especially when you got back into your apartment. Perhaps you didn't need them. Perhaps you never locked your door. Or perhaps you asked the doorman for the other set. I do that too sometimes. Either way, I hope you weren't too worried or looking too hard for them because here they are, enclosed. I only know you got back into your apartment actually because I live across the way, across the air shaft that separates our windows. I'm the apartment on the other side. And I know the windows may look dirty at times and thus give the impression that you can see out but that no one can see in. And I can assure you this is uh, not the case. You may not have seen much of me recently. I was spending more time at my boyfriend's up until very lately. Not anymore. Also, I see from the banner that you might have a birthday coming up or maybe has passed or maybe is today. If so, happy birthday. And I'm sorry you haven't fielded many calls today. This being your birthday, I hope you're not too disappointed. Unless they all texted or emailed. If so, I'm glad they did. Though, at the same time, I still find it a little disappointing, actually, that your loved ones, no matter how busy they may be, did not take the time out to wish you well in a face-to-face -face kind of way. I find that kind of lazy of them, to be honest. Maybe you don't like phone calls. Maybe you find in-person interactions draining. I don't know. I find that hard to believe. You seem so approachable. Though, I noticed that the man who's been coming over the past couple of months hasn't been coming over lately or isn't coming over when I'm there looking, which is a lot of the time, actually. So if something has shifted, I hope everything's okay. Oh. Obviously, everything's not. <laughs> ha, ha. In fact, honestly, I'm happy for you. He never paid attention when you spoke. And when he came over for dinner, you were always the one who cleaned up. Even though the unspoken rule is you cook, they clean up. So honestly, you're better off without him. And you seem to be handling it and all this quite well. Is it just because it's in your personality? Is it because he was more invested in the relationship than you were? Or is it because you recently bought a dog that's been providing the companionship you'd otherwise be seeking? Or rescued? Or fostered it? Hurt? Him? Where did you get that dog from? I'm allergic to dogs. But if I wasn't, I might get one myself. And if you don't mind me asking, where did you get those pants from? Those pants you're wearing right now through the window, they look comfortable. I might get a pair for myself. We appear to be the same size and that color that looks good in you might also look good on me too, I'm thinking. Your hair looks great, by the way. You did a good job. I've always wanted hair like that, but I figured I could never pull it off. It suits you, really. All this to say to the neighbor in 3A who has recently 
fostered a dog, lost a boyfriend, and dealt with world circumstances and a forgotten birthday with a plum and grace. I see you. I see you. I see you. And here are your keys. Happy birthday. I disinfected them before I dropped them off or I will when I drop them off in front of your apartment along with this note. Yes. Dear neighbor in 3A, enclosed are your keys. Here they are. Hope you are well. 3G, 